Hi there, we took the job to bring a catamaran across the Atlantic. So we arrived in Newport, Rhode Island, USA. It's a sailing harbor with a long history of boats and shipyards. We looked at the old graves and the living city. But most importantly, we had to stock up because we wanted to go on a 3,500 nautical mile long trip. We also had to understand the yacht technically and do some last minute installations. <laughs> The first storm arrived before we even lifted the anchor. After a few days of preparation, we were ready to start. As the first test of the yacht, we left Narragansett Bay and went to Martha's Vineyard. In the morning we had to wait for the right time, so we took a chance to look at the island. From Master's Vineyard we went to Nantucket Island, which is often the last stop for an Atlantic crossing.
Nantucket has a lagoon where you can anchor. There's no wind on the Atlantic yet, so we have to wait for two days in Nantucket. Nantucket is a town full of sailing history, so it was no wonder that we ended up in a museum. We learned that Native Americans had lived there for thousands of years. Then English settlers arrived and began to build houses and farm land. The 18th century, the whaling industry was fastly growing. More than 150 ships had their home port in Nantucket. One of these whale hunting voyages inspired Herman Melville to his novel Moby Dick. It was a story of the Essex. She sailed from Nantucket via the Azores, Cape Verde and Cape Horn, all the way up to the Galapagos Islands and beyond. There she was attacked by a sperm whale and destroyed. The crew went into the small whaling boats, but they didn't have much food and were about to starve when they decided to follow a cruel plan to survive. On the 28th of July we left Nantucket. We had been warned not to sail because of the hurricane season which had already started. But we were confident that we would manage to escape if we should see a tropical storm coming up. Three days after Nantucket, the good winds from the beginning were gone and the crew was eager to go for a swim. We've just been back on board again as we saw a little fin peeping out of the water. And it turned out to be a shark. Abgetaucht, das ist echt ein Hai. Der Wind ist ne? Ein ziemlich großer Hai. Ja. Ja. John? Oh ja, das ist ein Hai. Und wie? Ja, das ist voll. Halt, nein, 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 nein.
mal verschieben. Könnte man. Ja, könnte man. Kann man auch fragen. Wie man will. Äh, ja, gut, das freut mich. Wasabi. The days passed and it took us longer than expected. We also took a few detours to avoid storms and thunderstorms. We didn't want to get a lightning strike in the middle of the Atlantic. Originally we wanted to cross the Atlantic on a northerly route, but due to unfavorable winds we got further and further to the south. From there we have to sail up north again. 